Hello Scorpio, thank you so much for joining me. Welcome to my channel. I'm Chandra Lynn. This is going to be your general reading for November. It is general, so take it how it resonates with you and your life and your situations and your experiences. Disregard the rest. It is more energetically pulled from those with um, that are healing in their self-awareness, in their ascension. Um, and... What else? What else? Oh, yes. I'm offering extended now. Extended now. That link is below. Um, and thank you for the likes and the subscribes and the donations. They are amazing and transformative. And I'm thoroughly enjoying it. I'm thoroughly enjoying the options and opportunities. Um, and with that, we'll go ahead and get started because you're, whoever this reading is, is pulling in, there seems to be just like this exhaustion and it's, it's like an exhaustion, but it is, it's, uh, like a thinking exhaustion. It's almost like having, uh, nothing's the same nothing's the same almost like in a different landscape you're unsure where you're at you're unsure what to do uh, it really feel, it really feels like that void that void time after you uh, like choose and then you start you know things start falling away and it's just kind of like whoa it's like a void feeling. There you are. Arrow. Surround yourself with protective energy. Okay. Okay, so, yeah. So for whoever this is for, like, of course, this is going to resonate with whatever it is. So if it's a relationship, if it's a career, whatever it is. But I'm picking it up as um, more of like a dark night of the soul. Um, could be the first one. Um, I'm not sure if it if it is. We're gonna pull more cards. Um, but protect yourself. It's that void feeling can feel very. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, intolerable because that's how I really felt it the first time I was feeling the void. I remember just sitting and being like, this is blah. Like, what's the point? It's blah. I no longer wish to do this. Um, but it was a very, almost like This protect yourself energy is speaking of make sure you don't reach out and grab that which you work so hard to release because it feels empty in a sense. Let's, let's get more cards. But I really like you can go your own way. Is, uh, and you might not have even really made it your own way. You could have just been like, yes, and there's an opportunity to arise where I can do my own thing and go my own way that's what I'm doing and that if if that is the case and you're experiencing this this void like I like to uh, oh if you're at the airport and you're leaving right and it's and it's almost like you got to the airport early in a sense And now you're just kind of uh, bored, tired. There's nothing stimulating going on. There's nothing that's like grabbing your attention. The only thing that has your attention is this like, when are we going to start boarding this plane? However, that resonates for you. Um, it is coming. It is coming. But that protection, the arrow energy is really saying that this is the time to make sure that you you're only taking 
what you desire to take with you. Um, it's, it's almost, if it feels like a boy, you can put your focus on paying attention to the energies that you have released. Ooh, you got music and harmony. Passion, that's with yourself. There you go. On the bottom, we got fairies and earth magic. Oh, yeah. I don't know, maybe like you're getting upgraded or something. Ooh, and stone people, vigilance. Okay, so this really goes along with this energy of like standing in your strength right okay so now this oh it's making so much more sense to me okay so this is the past card and what i'm really being shown with this is you making a decision that changes everything but it was almost in a sense uh like it it was like you were in the zone. You were dancing, metaphorically speaking, right? But it was just kind of like, you know, in, in the zone. And as if, you know, somebody asked you to the beat of the music and then you responded without really having a lot of awareness of just how impactful that decision was going to be. So then, so you made the choice, right? And it was a beautiful choice. This is the energy that you're currently in right now. Compassion and love. But I also heard compromise. What's the compromise about? Let me grab another card because I want to know because I really did. I saw compromise instead of compassion at first um what do you what does scorpio need to compromise on thank you sacred space and psychic development Oh, okay. This is a very spiritual journey. Um, this this has a lot to do with reprogramming um, the way you respond. It's almost... Uh, okay, so there has been some things that have been coming up. Um, they're always reappearing and reappearing and reappearing and that has been pretty much what you stepped away from that's where this big void feeling is coming from all right um because all of those survival traits which were amazing and they got you here so much love to that scorpio who you were um but that Scorpio is no longer going to carry you forward in your life, which is where you're kind of going through this process. You've got the love and the compassion, but then you got compromise, right? That's what I saw was compromise. Um, then we had the sacred space and psychic development coming in. So... What is being said right here is you have to compromise with yourself. There are, it's almost like you feel drawn, like there's this uncomfortable, this sense of um, 
complete newness, uncertain of the patterns, uncertain of the cycles. It's, it's really, it's a very uncomfortable feeling for humans. And when those feelings, we try to reach out and do something that is comforting. But if you are in this process, choosing what is comforting is actually choosing what is toxic right? Because now you're taking that space that you just cleared out and you're bringing what you had just ejected from it back in. Because anything, a lot of your patterns and cycles, if this is you, um, are just focused on keeping you surviving, keeping you survive. Keep, can you survive? Survive, 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 survive. Um, what is coming in as you're waiting for this new upgraded plane to pull into the terminal is that void is being filled. It's your sacred space, right? Like imagine this is all you and it's all going to be filled up with things that are completely you, which is where this psychic development is coming in. Okay. It is actually a very good thing that it's going to take its time coming in for you because that means you're going to have a really good, solid, anchored, balanced, centered platform within yourself. You're going to be like, oh, it's going to be beautiful. It is beautiful. And then where the stone people with the vigilance comes in. Now, this card really resonated with me because I have been feeling this in my life the past um, several weeks, big time, almost everything outside of myself that is present in my immediate life is in a very, like, you know, stormy weather. It's very, um, towery. It's just really kind of crazy. And I was really un, I was aware of it, but I was unaware of it because I rejected that reality. It's like not my mess, not dealing with it. And I had just been choosing to go and to myself and um, just purposely doing things that I know I would be doing if I was in my ideal surroundings. Um, and I have been unwavering and unmoving with any of the energies coming at me because those energies do come at you. They see you standing. They see you being calm. They see you being centered. They see you being balanced. They see you putting your attention and your focus and your intention elsewhere than where they feel and believe you should be. And they're going to try to like knock you in the direction and that's where this surround yourself with protective energy is coming in. The most amazing thing about this energy, if this is you, I feel like it's for a lot of you, but somebody, it's really just like right there in the heart space. <sighs> Take a deep breath. It's okay. You're doing great. All right. The most amazing thing about this protection thing is, is if you just say yes to it and go, I am protected, and you believe yourself to be protected, and you imagine you've got like these, like, floaty bumper things that anytime something tries to come at you, it just bounces away. That's how it happens. If you choose, if you choose to just surround yourself with protection and believe that it's there and it's permanent and it follows you wherever you go and it's of love and it's of compassion and you start because you have gifts and you have abilities and you might already be aware of some of your gifts and abilities, but now they are going to expand and heighten. It's almost like gaining strength. Um, this is what you could choose to put your focus on, and it'll make the rest of this crap just kind of go away. Um, it is, it's, it is something that um, you might have to constantly bring your mind back to because it is. You will be presented with the opportunity to accept the same old, same old, same old. Um, and that's where the exhaustion's coming in. And keep, like, save all, you know. I know it's exhausting, but keep rejecting the old. Um. I'm going to continue this in the extended. So if you're planning and following, I'll see you there. And for the rest of you, I love you guys. I hope the next few weeks are amazing for you, and I will see you soon.